Now let's get on to the next series they're talking about, which is going to get a lot of people excited, and that is the Green Lantern series people have been waiting for. It is now just called Lanterns, and they did a great compromise bringing the Green Lantern I think a lot of people wanted and the Green Lantern other people like myself really wanted. They're going to bring them together in what they are calling a true detective like series, which is one of the most exciting things to hear. This is what Variety wrote about this. Of all the TV series Saffron and Gunn seemed most excited for, Lanterns, which Saffron disguised as a huge HBO quality. I love that they're referencing the HBO quality stuff. Huge HBO quality event that is very much in the vein of True Detective. The show will focus on two of the best known members of the Green Lantern Corps. Hal Jordan, which to me is the definitive uh, Green Lantern, the test pilot first played on screen by Ryan Reynolds, which I'm sure he'd like to forget, and John Stewart, an ex-Marine and one of the DC's first black superheroes who investigate a mystery that Saffron says plays a really big role in leading us into the main story that we're telling across our film and television series. This is a very important show for us, Saffron continued. So, you know, a lot of the questions have been going into Green Lantern. Are we going to get, you know, the de facto Green Lantern, Hal Jordan? Are we going to get the more modern one that a lot of the younger audiences know, Jon Stewart? Are we going to get a Kyle Rayner? Are we going to get a Guy Gardner? Are we going to get a, I don't know, any of the other ones? And it looks like they're going to go with this too. The idea of an HBO series of Green Lanterns, but in a true detective kind of mystery kind of thing. I am salivating. I am salivating about this. I, I love the sound of this. Rob, what do you think? Dude, I love this idea so much because you've got, you basically it's lethal weapon in space, even though it's on earth. It's good. Yeah. By the way, and it's, that's, they do make, I should have pointed that out. They do make clear that this is going to be a terrestrial based series. It is going to be based on. Earth. So here you've got two guys. This is how I see them doing this. You've got two guys, both military. You know, they, they, they can finish each other's sentences. They're the best of the best. They're a team, but they're also lanterns. And, and they are working together, true detective style. Maybe, maybe they're at odds. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're, that's why they're paired. Uh, this sector of the universe needs two lanterns. And whatever's going on, uh, clearly they have an overarching mythology. <laughs> Something is coming. But to see these two guys working together i mean it reminds me of of green arrow the green arrow and green lantern comics of the 70s when oliver queen and hal jordan teamed up my ward speedy is a junkie discovering the heart of america this really excites me a lot and the fact that because they're gonna this is gonna be your gateway into the cosmic and the authority is gonna have certain because they go through the bleed and stuff i just love what they're doing with this it sounds really interesting to me um and when they mentioned true detective come on Oh, first yeah. season of True Detective, <laughs> but done because because True Detective had a, the first season had a lot of supernatural overtones and things. I mean, I can, I, I, it's gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna touch on all of the different parts of this DC universe thing, and they're gonna get involved probably with Swamp Thing, with Supergirl, with Superman, with Bat, all that stuff, and space. So, yay! I also love the fact they're saying that this mystery is going to be. Again, like he said, a lot of the projects in this first phase are things about uncovering the overall story. And, yeah. and apparently this True Detective thing is going to be one of those. And I'll well. bet you they, I don't know how the structure is going to be, but isn't it going to be, you're, you're going to see probably flashbacks about how they became Lanterns, maybe. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I can't wait for this. A hardcore True Detective S Green Lantern series. Sign me up. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass offers classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class instructors at the very top of their fields. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long. And Masterclass is completely accessible on your phone, the web, smart TV, and available via audio mode to listen to classes on the go. They have over 2,500 video lessons from over 180 of today's most brilliant minds. They're all available anytime, anywhere on iOS, Android, desktop, Apple TV, 
Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Now, obviously, around here on the John Campus Show, we love our movies, so why not learn filmmaking from Jodie Foster, or maybe directing from Ron Howard himself, or the great Neil Gaiman doing his masterclass on the art of storytelling. And you guys have heard me talk about my favorite masterclass, Business Strategy and Leadership by Big Papa Iger himself, Bob Iger, the new and returning CEO of Disney. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class. And as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Just go to masterclass.com slash Campia now. That's masterclass.com slash Campia for 15% off Masterclass.